Let's recap the weekend and hit the waiver wire next on Fantasy Baseball Today in 5. Welcome into FBT in 5. As always, make sure to follow and stream us on Spotify. Today is Monday, September 6th. I am Frank Stanfield, solo, no Scott White. He's out enjoying the Labor Day weekend, and he has deserved it. Let's take a look at some waiver wire hitters. Frank Schwindel, we talk about this guy seemingly every podcast. He had nine more hits this weekend, including three home runs. He has hit a homer in six of his last seven games. He's now batting 338, 10 home runs overall, 1037 OPS. He's 39% rostered. At some point, Frank Schwindel is going to slow down. But as long as he's playing this well and he's this hot, he's making contact, he's putting the ball in the air, he has the opportunity to play every day for the Chicago Cubs, he should be on your fantasy team. Even in shallower leagues, let's move on to his teammate. Ian Happ had seven more hits this weekend, and he's having a big second half. 260 batting average, nine homers, two steals, and 821 OPS. It does come with a 34% strikeout rate. So if you play in a points league, Ian Happ is probably not for you. But in categories, a little bit of power, a little bit of speed. That's probably all you're going to get from Ian Happ. Joe Adele, is it happening? It might be happening. Six hits this weekend, including a double dong on Sunday. Two home runs in that game. He's only 49% rostered. We know that there's big upside for Joe Adele. He also strikes out quite a bit, but this is formerly one of the game's top prospects. Much like Ian Happ, he's going to strike out again, but uh, if you play in a categories league, I think we could get some pop here. Maybe a few steals from Joe Adele down the stretch. How about if you play in a shallower points league? Michael Conforto, you might have dropped him earlier in the season, and I wouldn't have blamed you, but he had six hits this weekend, including a home run, and in the month of August, he had a 268 batting average, 876 OPS, the plate discipline came around for Michael Conforto. He's 69% rostered. He has seven games this upcoming week. We said all along, we didn't really know why Conforto was struggling as much as he was. The underlying numbers still looked pretty good. So maybe he's looking to close the season out strong here in a contract year. So uh, Michael Conforto, a name that you can look at in shallower three outfielder leagues. And if you need some speed, his teammate, Jonathan VR with the New York Mets, 16 hits, three homers, one steal over his last eight games. He's 41% rostered. He has second, third, shortstop eligibility. I mentioned the Mets do play seven games this upcoming week. And a few other names, probably in deeper leagues. Andres Jimenez had three steals this weekend for Cleveland, and there was a lot of hype on Jimenez coming into the year. He's been a pretty big letdown, uh, but Cleveland is a team that likes to let their guys run, and Andres Jimenez is pretty fast. Leody Tavares, someone who does have some power and speed in the last seven games, two home homers, four steals. He's absolutely crushing it. Both of those guys are 12% rostered. So if you play in a roto league, deeper categories league with a middle infielder, five outfielders, uh, Andres Jimenez and Leody Tavares are a few names you can look at there. Let's take a look at some pitchers who are rostered between 50 and 60% on CBS. And I'll rank them in order of how I would want to start them this upcoming week. Ranger Suarez, we talk about quite a, quite a bit. Over this past weekend against the Miami Marlins, five shutout, two hits, two walks, seven strikeouts. He's at home this upcoming week against the Colorado Rockies, and it's their first game after playing in Coors Field, where usually the bats lag behind that first game out of Coors. Ranger Suarez is 59% rostered. Wouldn't mind starting him this week. A few other names here. Rich Hill, he is at the Miami Marlins this week. He's 52% rostered. He's allowed just five earned runs over his last Three starts that span 16 innings pitch. He delivered a quality start this weekend against the Washington Nationals. Again, against the Marlins, it's a pretty good matchup. I don't think Rich Hill is very good, but uh, it's a strong matchup there for him. The other name I wanted to mention, Carlos Hernandez, turned in another quality start for the Kansas City Royals this weekend. And since being put in the rotation in mid-July, he's got a 2.94 ERA and this week, he is at the Baltimore Orioles. He's 58% rostered. So I'd rank those names again. Ranger Suarez at the top. Rich Hill, if you need a streamer. And then Carlos Hernandez, I think, pretty good matchup there against the Orioles. How about some names that are rostered in under 50% of CBS leagues? 
Adrian Hauser, where did this come from? He threw a complete game shutout this weekend. Three hits, zero walks, seven strikeouts. He's only 26% rostered. The Brewers are kind of weird with their usage of their pitchers, unless your name is, of course, Brandon Woodruff or Corbin Burns. But uh, Hauser, nice matchup this upcoming week at Cleveland, coming off a really strong start. So he's someone that I would look at. Maybe in deeper leagues, he's 26% rostered, is Adrian Hauser. And then uh, Nestor Cortez, someone you could look to add. I don't know that you want to start him this week because he's going up against the Toronto Blue Jays. Had another strong start this weekend. And over his last seven starts, Nestor Cortez has a 3.18 ERA. He's only 47% rostered. So I think that number is too low. Again, I don't want to start him this week because of that matchup. But I do think that he should be on more fantasy baseball teams. For more extensive fantasy baseball coverage, listen to the Fantasy Baseball Today podcast on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Stitcher, your smart speakers, or anywhere else podcasts are found. And thanks for listening to Fantasy Baseball Today in 5. If you enjoyed the pod, please leave a five-star review on Apple. We'll be back again on Wednesday morning. Bye-bye. (laughs) 